Alicia Tillman, who is the Chief Marketing Officer of SAP. And Alicia, thank you. It's yes, thank you. Us. Yeah, it's wonderful to do this together. Okay, is GDPR mostly about, from a marketing standpoint, is it mostly about transparency? Are there other dimensions? It depends how you look at it. So, um, yes. It is certainly about transparency for the protection of the consumer, but it is also an opportunity to look at, and you know, even if I if I think about the the CMO study that we did, you know, there's there's three areas in particular. It's a way to protect customer data, it's a way to view how you manage customer experience differently, and then related to that, it's an opportunity to think about how you further build trust and loyalty. And so if you think about it across those three dimensions, yes, it's an opportunity to drive greater transparency, but we have an obligation to protect that. And by protecting it, it gives you this ability to really further the notion of prioritizing customer experience to become more at the forefront, which is really, truly what all marketers should be focused on today. Okay, so now then, Draw, draw the link for us between GDPR and trust and customer experience. If somebody selects us as a partner to deliver them a product or a service, they expect that as part of that relationship, we're also educating and working with them to help them understand different dynamics that are going to affect our relationship. And this certainly will, because this is something that is new and emerging and is in fact going to uh, affect the way that we operate. And so, you know, we live in a world today that's, that's very transaction oriented. And what becomes lost when that is the method in which you operate with customers is you lose this well-rounded relationship that customers expect when they partner with a person or an organization. And part of that is information sharing, um, helping to guide them through ups and downs or things like GDPR that are going to have an effect. And that's when the notion of trust comes in. Then what's the relationship between data and this trust that feeds into both brand reputation and customer experience that we're just talking about? Used correctly, um, data can further how well we build customer experiences with our customers. You know, there's so many benefits to increased access to data, but one of the greatest challenges to that increased access is abuse of data. And that's another role that, that, that marketing and companies need to play, which is how do you protect it and still use it to your benefit to continue to enhance the overall customer experience. So I think there's two aspects to this. One is when it comes to data. So number one, eventually, almost every company is going to suffer some type of data incident. Or let's just say at least companies are at least at risk. And so that's one piece, kind of the, the crisis, averting crisis. But then the second piece is on an ongoing basis, how can companies use data to deepen that experience, to deepen the trust, and therefore deepen that relationship? Everywhere across every industry, whether you're in a consumer industry or you're in a B2B industry, there is a desire to have more personalization across every aspect of the journey um, because consumers today have more choices than they ever have before. And this notion of personalization is top of mind because it exists. It doesn't exist as broadly as it can, but I do believe that's where we're going. And the more you have access to data and, and treat it with the utmost caution and protection entirely to help enhance an experience, that is what consumers are after today, and that's what we have the obligation to use data for. What's your advice for CMOs to take advantage of the opportunity that GDPR presents for deepening that customer relationship? I mean, number one, understand it. Understand what it is and how you need to change your operations to support it. But as 
as you go through that learning process, think about how you can embrace it and drive it beyond this notion of compliance that it feels to be on the surface. There are many times in our lives where um, we've had these top-down directives where we've been forced, if you will, to do something in our companies, in our lives, and, and it doesn't necessarily mean that it is embraced the way it was intended to be. And it all comes down to how well you drive the benefit of it. And marketers have an incredible role to look at this beyond the surface level impact that it was intended from a compliance standpoint, but more as another way to build trust and to round out what it means to truly uh, create customers for life. And if you view things like rules and process and compliance, all these ugly words that we talk about often in business, but more as a means to help you run better and to create dynamic experiences because that's true what sets one company apart from another in today's environment, GDPR can help you think that way if you have the right mindset and are willing to tackle it from that perspective. So GDPR enforces a certain type of customer-focused mindset. I don't like the word enforces. <laughs> um, My bad. Yes. But, and, and it's, in, it's actually, I, I like that you used that word because if you see it as that, then it will be difficult for you to see it as a way to think about it from a loyalty and a trust angle. See it as an opportunity to um, win customer trust then to get customers kind of on their back feet because they feel like they're being forced to do something. And that's that's what I think there's this incredible opportunity that this provides for us. If you have a willingness to be open-minded and use it more as an opportunity versus an obligation. All right, so GDPR is the trust function. How's that? I like that. All right. Much better than enforcing. Thank you so much.